Here's Yazoo City number one citizen, Jerry Clower. <laughs> hey, Jerry, I understand down no part of the country they grow things pretty big down there. They do. And I don't know why. When I was a young and growing up, city folks like to make fun of country people. Oh. They've done kind of stopped doing that now, though, because some of us country folks got much money as them city folks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, me and Marcel Ledbetter was sitting in front of the country store one morning. A big, long, black car pulled up, one of them city fellas. Got out of that car and looked down his long nose at us. Hey, city boys. City boys? Well, y'all the countryest looking things I ever seen in my life. I don't even know why they let you sit here side the road. Hurt my feelings. I grew up in the country. I was barefooted. I didn't have nothing. He said, hey, country boys, said I'll give y'all five dollars. Either one of you, five dollars, if you need that 60 pound watermelon right there. <laughs> Marcel said, I believe I can eat that watermelon. <laughs> he got up and run his bare foot over the top of it. There, looked down at it, said, let me run up to the house. I'll be right back. Marcel got back, squatted down by the watermelon, busted it, commenced to eating it, put, spit the seeds out, scraped the rind, <laughs> sucked up the juice. Ah, give him a five dollars. The man said, you sure did eat all that watermelon. And I got you five dollars, but tell me, why did you run up to the house before you eat the melon? He said, Papa had a watermelon up there under the bed, the same size as this one. And I knowed if I could eat that, and I could eat yes. this one. <laughs>